Hey YouTube, today I will be showing you how to make a admin system on the login system that we've made in the past two tutorials. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did in the beginning about the admin thing that I decided not to do at first. Well, we'll just do the same thing, but this time for create account and login. Just name it admin. Just do that, put it in the create account and login. Um. Yeah, it kind of gets annoying with me. Yeah, now I'm getting pissed. Something about my mouse that makes it do that. It's an annoying thing ever. Okay. There. Should be done. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, now just go to your database, not the data set, but we'll be working in that later in the tutorial. Might have to make a second part, I have no idea. Just double click it, don't do show table data. I'm not sure if mine's gonna pop up. Here it is. Just add rank int in allow null is false, but default value we're binding put is one for um for a regular member and two will be admin. So, uh, just save that. Let's go, now go to the show table data. And make the, all your admin accounts admins. I'll make a demonstration. And regular password. Regular. I'm not sure. I can't spell it very well. Regular and rank one. We're good. You can add more ranks if you want. That's up to you. But uh, I'll teach you how to add more in this tutorial. Just click save. Just do that. It'll automatically save. Um. Double click this. And do uh, add query. Um. And click uh, which returns a single value. We're just going to want to get the rank. Select rank from users. Don't just... That simple. Select rank from users. You can add a space and not all these spaces. And then it'll automatically compile it in those spaces. Do execute carry. Oh, I see something wrong. Um, where... Username no, not equal like just do that and it'll ask you for a username. Do admin, it gets admin rank and it'll regular, regular, it gets rank, regular rank. Okay, next name it get rank and uh, with login do a uh, config left click and click configure and select and also add rank okay should be pretty you know not rank not for login but um Also add a rank like oops. That should do it. It'll uh get the username and password. Basic no, you don't even need to add that, but well yeah, I guess you should. 
Mm, actually, no, don't. Just leave it out. That is. Finish. Wait. No, we have to, uh... Oh, this is so confusing for me, guys. I'm sorry. Rank. I'm new to SQL. So. Plus, I'm kind of like, tired right now. Uh-oh. It's not going to be good. From... Sorry. From my users rank. Yeah, that way it adds the rank to it. Yeah, that should be right. Should be right. Um, finish. Now it'll add the rank. Go with create account. Add carry. No, not add carry. Not add carry. I'm sorry. Uh, configure. Certain to users username rank there should have another parent okay that should be it for that so you just do save it or build it you're still on the project you haven't built it yet um with login you're gonna come up with two errors. This is gonna be login one and uh do comma Oh wait no comma one just to take off the error for a second. M int one as integer equals one if checkbox one dot checked equals true int one equals two okay and now you're gonna change that to int one and I just copy that paste it change text box one to text box two and uh int one just do that and it should work and um it should do it uh yeah and if you wanted to say the rank um if users table users table adapter one dot get rank there it is and then it's username. That would be text box for that text equals one. Message box created regular count else message box created admin account now for the login let's do the same thing uh, if users oh oh sorry I have no idea what just happened if users Table adapter one dot get rank. Um, get rank text box one dot text equals one message box regular log. logged in else you can manipulate this code however you want but just give me credit cuz took me about two weeks to figure out all this code so I'd like to have some credit for you people but yeah thanks now we're going to do admin and admin we're gonna we're going to click that it's gonna 
should say we don't have. Oh yeah, it doesn't do anything. We don't have. Now we click admin. Admin logged in. Let's create account. Uh, no, it's not test X. I want to mess that. Well, I will in a second. But um, let's make it so it'll say something like invalid username. Else. Invalid username slash password slash rank. Yeah, you can change that to wherever you, uh, you want. So just click debug, it should work. Now, if you try to log in, it should pop up and say invalid username. Now, if you do admin, admin, login, should say invalid. And if you click the admin login, it should say admin logged in. From here, create account, create a regular account, right? Username is taken, so username to create an admin account, okay? Everybody happy, so I hope you all have a good day and. I'm tired of making tutorials. Well, bye.